ready? Yes. Okay. Get all relaxed. Have your cocoa in hand. All right. This is called Orinoco's Quest. Orinoco Sandoval was a 13-year-old hybrid girl with caramel eyes that matched her warm complexion. Her wide, friendly face was framed by long, straight hair, black as a crow. Typical of the inhabitants of the lush jungle that bordered the Amazon Sea in the year 2533. All right, I'll say good day to you this day of your time. How are you all? <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you. Orinoco's Quests. You have been told this story this night of your time because this is a representation of a shamanistic journey. And by following many of the principles, by anchoring to the earth, by opening to its secrets, by expressing yourself more as nature rather than simply being within nature, you all become your own version of the idea of a shaman. So there's those things in my own consciousness when I'm out in the forest at those levels where I feel that it's okay to abandon society, but I don't, and I come back and I pay my car bills. All right, and everything. that's fine. But there's, to a certain point, remember that even the idea of the Zen Buddhists tell you mm -hmm. that some of the most spiritual things you yes. can do is chop, chop wood, wood and carry, carry water. water. Because you are having a physical experience. Mm -hmm. And therefore, there is nothing unspiritual about the typical things that you choose to do to honor the idea of your physical experience in the reality you chose to be in. Yes. Just so can... do them spiritually. Yes. Shop spiritually. I love that. Shop like a Zen master. Shop like a shaman. Pay your bills like a shaman. Oh, I love Whatever it. it is that you create synchronistically that works for you, if it is representative of your true passion, do it like a shaman. Beautiful. I love and that. And don't squeeze the shaman. Ah, don't squeeze. I love that. That's beautiful.